Hey, what up, y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another FL tutorial, man. My second, I believe it's my second one. Um, excited stuff because I've been learning a whole lot of stuff in FL, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. All right, so what I'm going to show you guys today is previously as a Reason user, um, I've got access to the Reason Rack plugin, right? When I bought the DAW years ago, um, when I bought the DAW, they gave me, you know, you get the plugin included. And so now that I've been using FL, there's a lot of features, uh, a lot of synths um, that I want to be able to use in FL that I can't. One of those things being the Reason Rack players. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This pretty much works with any kind of plugin that generates chords or arpeggios, um, any kind of, anything that has like a, sort of a MIDI effect. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that in FL. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is uh, you wanna make sure that you have a plugin. In this case, I'm gonna use expand. Oh, that's the other thing. This, the, this method that I'm gonna show you does not necessarily work for native plugins. Um, but I'll also kind of show you how you can kind of work yourself around that. All right, so I got expand to um, here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the settings. I'm gonna go to the VST wrapper settings and I'm gonna change the import to one. So now this is important because um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to Reason Rack plugin, go to my settings, the wrapper settings, and I'm gonna change my output to one. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in here in the browser. I'm gonna look in players and I'm gonna load in scales and chords. Um, I just love scales and chords just because like I suck at playing piano, um, just don't have the dexterity for it. And so this allows me to be able to use something that I've been using for years that I'm comfortable with um, inside a new uh, VST or inside a new DAW. All right, so I'm done here. So now what's gonna happen is when I play um, when I press a key, it's going to trigger a chord, but that chord is going to be played by, um, expand. And you'll kind of notice it here because this is the one, this right here is where expand is. So watch when I have ex expand selected. All right. But now when I click reason rack plugin, bam. Now I've got my chords. So let's say I had a nice chord progression that I like. Uh, let's go ahead and record something real quick. All right, I've recorded it. Now the next thing that I wanna do is, uh, this is what I like to do. Right click it and then I select burn to MIDI and then burn to current pattern. What that does is that takes the notes that I clicked all right, and then it converts those into the notes or the, the notes that were triggered inside of the plugin, right? Because if I hit C, it's gonna trigger, you know, C minor chord or whatever. So it's done that here. And then the last thing that I do is I pretty much just cut and then I paste it on expand just for my purpose sake. Cause that's how my brain works is that like, I wanna have the chords in there. Now, as I said in the beginning that there's no way for this to work with a native VST, um, but what you can always do is like, let's say, let's go with harmless. Say if I wanted to put that on harmless, I can just kind of cut and paste those notes onto harmless. And then that's kind of like my little workaround for not being able to have that, um, not being able to have that feature you know, in the native VSTs. But anyways, there you go. Hopefully that's a helpful gem to you guys. If you guys have been struggling with that stuff, now you understand and now you know um, how you can do that if you have any kind of plugin that is a MIDI effect that plays chords for you or plays arpeggios for you and you want to be able to mess around with the notes. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.